for welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will, the world's number one podcast for confidence and self-empowerment. Today, we are going to talk about acceptance and the importance of accepting who you are so you can build your confidence and self-empowerment. My name is Lindsay. I am a confidence and self-empowerment coach. And if you want to build your confidence and self-empowerment, then you are in the right place. Please like, share, comment, leave reviews. It will really help me out. A moment of your time, a lifetime of happiness for me. Thank you. So the past two episodes, we talked about acceptance. I talked about how I accepted my body and how... And I read a excerpt from Eckhart Tolle's book, A New Earth, in regards to acceptance. And we discussed how accepting things as they are will help us to live in the moment. And it will also help us to relieve stress so that we can work and act from a more confident and empowered place. And today we are going to talk about internal acceptance. And what I mean by that is when we accept ourselves for who we are. So in episode 19, we talked about just be yourself and how to just be yourself. And now we are talking about acceptance. These are very much intertwined and they will work off of each other. This podcast is designed to help you build your confidence. That is what we are doing. So when you are accepting of yourself, that means that you acknowledge who you are. And this does not mean that you have to like every area of who you are. We all have things that we need to work on. That is a point of life. We just continually grow and learn. That is the human condition. We have the capacity to do it. And that makes us happy to continually grow and learn and build just like we're building our confidence. So If you work on accepting yourself and maybe you realize, wow, I don't have that much confidence or I don't feel that empowered, or you might be thinking that you are more of a people pleaser than you would like. When you accept that, that is when you can start to work on not being so much of a people pleaser or work on building your confidence or work on building your empowerment. If you don't accept it, then you're going to be in denial. So you might be a people pleaser, but you're in denial about it. And when you're in denial, you're not going to change and you're not going to work on not being a people pleaser. And then you're going to keep going in this continual negative loop. So we really need to throw a wrench in that loop. And the wrench is acceptance. When we accept things, Not only does it help us to acknowledge our faults and then to build and work forward, it also relieves so much stress and worryment and will free up so much mental mind space. You might not even know what to do with yourself at first. I'm not even kidding. (laughs) You will feel free. So you want to work on accepting who you are. And it might be difficult because this world is not very accepting, especially not accepting of people who don't like what everyone else likes or doesn't look like everyone else. You might not have been accepted and it may make you feel like you need to try to be something else or you may have bad feelings towards yourself because you don't feel like you're accepted. However, while you may have previously not been accepted in other social circles, when you accept yourself, quote unquote, just be yourself, when you accept yourself, other people will start to accept you more because you will find your people and you will find people who appreciate you for who you are. But it would be best for you to have that appreciation first because we can sometimes get lucky and find someone who appreciates us, 
when we don't appreciate ourselves. However, you should not be counting on that external factor. It should really be something you are doing internally for yourself. And a way that you can do this is first by accepting that you are not perfect and you do not know everything. And there are questions in this world that if you were asked, you would say, I don't know, because you do not know. And you have made mistakes and you, yeah, again, are not perfect. And I feel like when you hear it that way, you might think, well, yeah, obviously I'm not perfect. However, we may think we're not perfect, but sometimes we try and act like we are, or we try to act like we have the answers when we don't. So if someone asks you a question, consider this. Are you trying to answer the question even if you don't have the answer? Or are you comfortable with telling someone, I don't know? Because a lot of times, I don't know why this happens. I still, I reflect on this a lot. I can't figure it out. But I feel like when we get to a certain age, all of the sudden we feel like we need to have the answers. It might be because when we were younger, we wanted to grow up so quickly that once we got to like 18 years old, we thought that we knew everything and no one could tell us anything different. I definitely thought I was like super smart and I think I'm intelligent, but the older I get, the more I realize I do not know. <laughs> it's a, it's very, uh, uh, it puts you right back down to earth. It's yeah. So that is something that you can do to work on accepting yourself. And then other things you can do is work on accepting the fact that you may have different interests than other people. For instance, I really enjoy classical music. And on a Friday night, I might go have a drink and then go to the orchestra. And I usually bring a book with me, a nonfiction philosophy book, and I will read before the orchestra starts, I'll read during intermission while standing in the hall because I like to stand and it feels good to stretch my legs. And then after the orchestra, I might meet up with friends for another drink and I have my book like in my in my bag. <laughs> and some people think that this is weird. I've had colleagues even um, kind of make fun of me for it. But I just accepted that, yes, on a Friday night, I might be at the orchestra and I might be only like maybe 5% of the people there that are in their 30s. It doesn't bother me, but previously it would make me feel uncomfortable because people would make comments. However, when I accepted, like, yeah, I like classical music. Yeah, it's not typically something that someone in their 30s enjoys and it, going to the orchestra several times per year isn't something that a lot of people do. However, it's something that I like, so I am going to do it. And once I found that acceptance, then I was able to enjoy it more. And I also didn't feel the need to defend when someone would make fun of me or make a ignorant remark or try to insinuate that I thought I was better than them because I chose to go to the orchestra on Friday night and they weren't going. <laughs> Which was totally their lack of confidence, not mine. But it still hurt because I was a people pleaser. And not only that, it's also accepting your faults, like your weaknesses. Because when you accept your weaknesses, then you are able to move forward. For instance, I accept that when I eat even just like one sugary treat, then I want to eat all of the sugary treats in sight. I have accepted that I have low self-control in this area. And what I do now is I work on building that control. I do it by either only buying something small, like a little snack for myself and not having anything at home. Or if I do bring it home, then I put it away so I don't see it on the counter or what else I'll do is just have like strict guidelines and rules. Like, okay, only three cookies tonight. <laughs> Which can sometimes be so hard. But I have accepted 
that I don't have the best self-control, especially when it comes to chocolate chip cookies. And now I can work on it. And this is also acceptance of sometimes your not so great habits. Maybe if you get into a new relationship and you're a little clingy, or maybe if you get frustrated easily, whatever the case, think about the things that you do that you don't really like. And then when you accept them, you can work on them. And that is how you're going to build your confidence. And with that, we are going to end with our eye affirming statements. You can say them with me now. You cannot. You can do whatever you want. I can. I am. I will. Have a great day.